This third poem is called The Visibility Trigger and it is dedicated to Kwame Nkrumah and the leaders of the third world. It is about the intrusion of imperialism into our societies and our cultures. And so they came up over the reefs, up the creeks and rivers, or prong, put put, hack, tramp, silence. And I was dreaming near morning. I offered you a cola nut, your fingers huge and smooth and red, and you took it your dress mackerel of blue and you broke it into gunfire. The metal was hot and jagged. It was as if the mother of bronze had poured anger into his cauldron and let it spit, spit, sputter and it was red, blue, black in my face. It was as if a maggot had slapped me in the belly and I had gone soft like the need of my wife's bread. I could hear salt leaking out of the black hole of Kaneshi. I could hear grass growing around the edges of the green lake. I could hear stalactites ringing in my cave of vision, bats batting my eyes shut, their own eyes howling like owls in the dead dark. And they marched into the village. And our five unready virginal elders met them. Bowl, calabash, oil, carafe of fire, silence. And unprepared and venerable, I was dreaming mighty wind in trees, or circles, talismans, round hut, Rounged village, cooking pots. The world was rounded and we the spices in it. Time wheeled around our memories like stars. Yam, cassava, ground nut, sweet pea bush. And then it was yams again. Birth, child, hunter, warrior, and the breath which is no more, which is birth, which is child, which is hunter, which is warrior, which is breath, that is no more. And they brought sticks, rods, roads, bullets, straight objects. Birth was not breath, but gaping wound. Hunter was not animal, but market sale. Warrior was child that is no more. And I beheld the cotton tree, guardian of graves, rise upward from its monument of grass, crying aloud in its vertical hull, calling for crashes of branches, vibrations of leaves. There was a lull of silver, and then the great-grandfather, gnashing upwards from its teeth of roots, split down its central thunder, the stripped, violated wood, crying aloud its murder, the leaves, frontier signals, alive with lamentations. And our great Odum, triggered at last by the ancestors, into your visibility, crashed into history.